So we have the High Priestess, Go Within. You are a very intuitive person and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. So a lot of you, some of you is is, is with this Hierophant, it's more about your faith and just kind of receiving spiritual lessons. Also, it's a redefining because when we go within as the high priestess, we got a lot of understanding and clarity about things we want, intuition. So again, for some of you, it's this connection. Um, and it's just a time to, you know, really embrace some silence and what you're hearing. Uh, let's see what the soul's journey is. Nourishment and purge and cleanse. So yeah, that's where the, the nourishing and the silence here for the, the high priestess energy. But this nourishment here, your body, mind, and soul are sacred. Feed yourself only that which nourishes you in the most healthy way possible and you know with this nourishment it's why i'm feeling like some of you want this shift of energy in terms of you know looking forward to um celebrate celebratory times and maybe time with family and this is where you're going to really nourish your soul and be with close ones that you really love and purge and cleanse because that's what will happen also in the high priestess energy um, some elements of your life cannot remain. Negative people, behaviors, or circumstances must be purged. So obviously a shift in elements, which is you know what the silence usually serves for. So let's see what you have to allow, Scorpio. I allow myself to expand my awareness. Again, very high priestess energy, you know, in terms of expansion and intuition. Let's see what you have to surrender. And that's usually happens with the purging. So things will start to like really come to surface and surrender to, to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs. And remember that no is a complete sentence. Again, those of you who are purging, um, that is definitely a strong message for you, for those. So let's see what we got here. Sarah. What else do we have for Scorpio for November? definitely a redefining here so this is about your your fulfillment fulfillment wishes nine of cups this is all about your emotional fulfillment why because we have all these chakras here so again there's an alignment so nourishing yourself with friends with family i think the celebratory month and gatherings will really be of um good use of um an energy shift for you guys you know if you have really great family and relatives and friends that you could spend time with but there's a lot with this third eye for me this is mirroring so there's a lot you're seeing for yourself in this high priestess of just spending time the purging and the cleansing the throat chakra is again those boundaries we're talking about where relationships where we're like no we're gonna be we're gonna be really strong right now and base chakra is rerouting ourselves so it's a lot of conf confirming overall energy here three more of this nine of cups this is about you yeah three of wands being patient with it and this is also like three of wands it's empress energy learning to be more on the receiving end of things the reciprocating end of our relationships yeah ten of pentacles and again looking forward so three of wands is looking forward again the family gatherings nine of cups this is where a lot of you are going to find some great fulfillment um and looking forward to to spending time with with friends and family three of wands is third eye There goes that empress. You know, this is what I'm saying. It's receiving. Life is showing you with the third eye. It's that mirroring. It's showing you 
where things are where things really truly matter and i think that's where you're focused at and like i said it really does empress pearl you're probably the host you're probably the gatherer of the family so this time of year is like a fun time for you um and for others of you it could be that you know what you're not inviting everybody you're not gathering everyone you're making sure it's going to be a happy time for your family which is why some of you have to set some limits as well so you can remember this throat chakra why the throat chakra you know so you want to make this a good year you want to make this like a non-bs kind of year as well for yourself yeah look at this throat chakra the um king of pentacles and the magician you know you're the alchemizer here scorpio so you know how to ground the energy within everybody and for those that probably shake you a little more than uh, than others <laughs> um it's okay to release I mean, Scorpio, sometimes you guys know, so basically owning this grounding energy. Yeah, you can you can only do so much for some of the people we care about, but I feel this energy of just kind of really, um, it's not, it, it's alchemizing things through words, right? You're an alchemizer, so you know how to soothe things out, you know how to bring in the peace. You know, and this is about really keeping the peace right now. Give me more on the space chakra. And it, it just feels like it's going to be a good time. Give me more on the space chakra. King of Cups. So much, a lot of masculine energy. Like you're just looking to really emote, like your emotions here, your root. You're, you're very grounded. And this is your energy, Scorpio, right? King of Cups. So again, it's the groundingness that you have from your root. That is going to help alchemize all of this, you know, even with others. Um, but also you just owning your, your time and your space in terms of who's going to be around you this time of year. And I just feel like it's a, it's truly a gathering. Like you're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a good time and it's OK. I feel like this is not this is not something you're going to be stressing over too much, but you're very mindful of of um who's good to go and who's not good to go so um all right let's see what's the energy of abundance for you for november what's the energy for abundance for scorpio beautiful words of abundance you have the ability to instantly manifest this from seeing this alchemization you're you're just words of abundance you're gonna know how to literally alchemize the 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 environment so instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful fully positive words always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms and that is what you attract for yourself and others so <laughs> I literally am hearing like keeping all the BS of politic talks and all this stuff that maybe has caused some level of, um, you know, separation within the family. Um, and it's almost like just enjoying this time, just try to be family and, you know, find your way. Yeah. So this is what I have for you in terms of general read Scorpio. Interesting month. You guys really will just, you know, keep the peace. I, that's what I'm hearing. Keep the peace and you know what to do. Um, so we're going to get into your love read now. All right. So what is this energy of regret? I don't know who this is for, but there's someone who definitely regrets this connection. And I feel there's going to be a compromise. I definitely feel your energy, which is that death energy, Scorpio, where it's just one of those things where something's transforming in this relationship or you've changed or your person's changed but things are going to be different so i just saw the five of pentacles but i just want to give that a quick shuffle um so let's see what's the love energy for scorpio what else for scorpio
All right, so, you know, the person that pointed out was codependency, past life relationship. Yeah, this is an ex. And, you know, whatever they're regretting, I'm feeling this energy that this person, um, I feel like this person doesn't communicate their emotions well. They don't know how to communicate their emotions well. Then we have passion and staying optimistic about your love life. You know, I feel Scorpios. I mean, it's hard to release this passion or the intensity of uh, Scorpio. So I feel like this is why this person's having a long, uh, hard time releasing. I think also it's your ability to. Um, I'm getting this energy of a um, like you know how to wheel your person back in and a lot of it, it could just be the attraction so there is this strong physical attraction I mean you're staying positive here and I feel this is your energy I mean your person also is trying to I don't feel they're the ones who are being optimistic I think you just carry this energy that pulls them in despite but I also feel like they are misinterpreting your optimism because you're also not about the BS and if they continue their BS in terms of not being able to communicate you're also not closed off to closing that door entirely um, you're willing you're willing to work with them and hear them out but it's it's got to stop and I think they need to just be more mature about how they're communicating their emotions um, and, and and you're willing, you know, you're willing to be like, okay, we, we can work this out. So let's see what else we got here. I feel like I saw the five of pentacles and I feel like this is insecurities. There we go. Yep. Insecurities with this person. What else? Wow. So I knew it. There goes your energy death. This is again, your ability to transform. There goes the trapped in fear and the solar plexus. This is the insecurities that I'm feeling. This person has, their solar plexus are not healed. And this person tends to go, it's not the best energy, um, Scorpio, because this is why this person goes in and out because their solar plexus is blocked. It's not healed. And this person sometimes goes through depressive stages. Maybe this is what you kind of know. And it's not that it's, it doesn't have to be this like overwhelming um, roller coaster, but it, it needs to be worked on, you know, and they need to kind of release that in order to be with you. So again, transformation here, that's the death. Here's the high priestess. We got that in your overall energy where, you know what, you're in a place of actually just, you're okay with being alone too. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing. You're optimistic. You are, you're able to transform your energy however it needs to be. We've got the sun, right? Things can be positive. So you're, you are optimistic about things turning around. Three of pentacles, recognition, reward. You're willing to work. And then here's the triumph and success, the conversation. So there is an, a, a willingness to compromise, you know, if this person can, can really express their emotions and kind of get out of their, their head about um, their ways. I feel they this person trips on their own feet when it comes to their emotions. So give me one of those trapped in fears there. So yeah, two of swords. They just get in their own way. Um, they don't know what to say. The two of swords is the mind. So their mind, when they can't see, this is the fear. When they can't see, they lose balance in terms of... Um, their the way they, their perspective is and then how they react and i think this is what leads to a lot of the poor communication on their part Give me more of the solar plexus seven of swords yep again you know this person is not healed in the solar plexus and they go into this cycle uh, in their mind where you're deceptive you're this you're that and it's really just you know, on the solar plexus, I, it is exhausting, you know, it can get exhausting, but this person needs to stop that and it has to do with their past behavior. Okay, more on the solar plexus. Yeah, 
page of swords not really they, they just argumentative this person is just an argumentative person they don't know how to really communicate they get very oh like yeah it's their it's the way they express themselves this is this is the oh, this is actually the only issue this person has if they can fix that then maybe you guys can change things so give them all this death energy yeah temperance you're willing to work with this person you guys could be dealing with sagittarius or another scorpio right or high priestess i mean pisces energy or leo but you're willing to work things out and balance things out you know so give me more of this intuition why is the high priestess here okay wow beautiful see I, like I, I really feel there's this optimism with this relationship you know we did receive like I said we had the six of cups and the hierophant as main energy so a lot of you may have this re reconciliation with this person there is an openness of a relationship overall too this month you know for some of you so it, it just has to be kind of resolved you know you're optimistic of the potential of reconciling working things out talking about things but talking talking right um give me more of the sun three of swords yeah you want to they, they want to end the separation and again things will can heal so the sun and the three of swords is healing and i feel like this is their burden kind of like they're really I mean, this person knows they effed up. They know that. They know that they know it's it's a lot has to do with them and they need to drop these burdens as long as they have these fears or as long as they have this um, constant battle within their own mind about pain and their associations to connections relationships uh, this is this is going to be a constant cycle they go through in a relationship I feel like you're the closest they've ever had um, in terms of really connecting but then it scares them too because there's some they know this can happen this beautiful like this great beginning it, it, it can happen but then it sometimes when these kind of people who have codependency meet someone who can who represents the opposite of what they're used to it makes them even more but it's such a transformative state for them so it would require some patience of the other energy to be able to allow things to kind of temper out so maybe over time they see but you just you don't know it's one of those things that you only know over time but in this in this case i feel like there has been some time and at this point this person needs to learn their lesson so give me more of this three of pentacles. Yeah. Again, this willingness to reconcile six of cups. This can be worked out. And, you know, again, this is about conversation, getting clear what they have to better express themselves. Give me more of this ace of swords. Oof. oh my god yeah the tower the lovers with the ace of swords so you guys can work this out there will be a change you guys will work this out there will be a de decision once this conversation happens and it's you know ace of swords is hard because there's a lot that is needing to be truth here ace of swords is a ace of swords is about integrity in the mind and integrity with our voice and as long as this exists then this connection will come back together right you guys will reconcile you know make the effort to work things out with this eight of pentacles here and things will work out you know but as long as this person um can really change their ways of how they express and i think it's also how you come up how you help them kind of 
I think the the separation or just the, the time of of uh, the processing times I think will help you know so they can again temper calm down calm their emotions and have time to think all right, so let's see what the blockages are here. What are the blockages for this connection, Spirit? Thank you. Wow, can't breathe. Anxiety and depression. That's what it is. And I think this triggers this person. That's why I said this person has depressive states here with the solar plexus sometimes. Like this person does have instability when it comes to their perspective of relationships and just like they go in and out of they do have cyclical um cases of depression and anxiety um so this is also a triggering aspect of them so this is something they need to learn how to manage for sure you know so let's see let's see what's the message here from this person just get a few message just until a message of the heart here factors we're so different i'm trying to figure out how this is going to work yeah oh and jealousy i feel like you've moved on without me and that's difficult for me to see i just feel like they're they're a jealous person so they go through these in and out right we're different it's a lot of um i feel like a lot of excuses from this person in terms of what they create in their mind and again this can fade away i don't feel like it's a terrible jealousy energy i just think this person needs to really deal with their third chakra heal a lot of these things and just i feel like there's an awareness now so let's see what's the guidance for scorpio what's the guidance for scorpio spirit thank you so here we go family friends it's time to spend with your loved ones their love for you will bring you new energy and creativity celebrate your relationships this goes with the general read you guys so a lot of you just will be occupied with spending time like this relationship is not so much priority um at the moment it's you know and you're willing that's what i'm saying i feel like scorpio is such a peaceful time because you're just looking forward to new energy just like enjoying celebratory time with close friends and family because you know it's it's going to be a great time and it's a, probably one of the best time of the years for a lot of you so enjoy yourself hang out do your do you and then this connection we have divine timing so this is going to happen in divine timing because we do have the death and the temperance and that takes time so divine timing in this energy the universe has got your back trust that everything will work out when the time is right for it there is no such thing as a coincidence. And so at this point, this is where your optimism is, where you're like, you know, we're just gonna take this break. They'll, we're gonna figure things out. Let them be in this energy. I think it's allowing for some self-awareness on their part. And then when you guys talk, this is why this tower is gonna happen because then when you guys speak, um, you know, there is still the passion. I mean, it, it hasn't left, it hasn't left the, the connection it's just a matter of time with the tower is here for things to really shift quickly in terms of what they've got to deal with on their end so um scorpio i'm gonna leave it there please like share subscribe